Hey Canada, are you feeling sleepy? Because hibernation season is on its way and it's nothing to sleep on. But what species in Canada takes snoozing the most seriously and which hit the snooze button on hibernation altogether? One of the best ways to describe hibernation is to contrast two animals that, that one that uses it and one that doesn't. And there are the gray squirrels. They cannot hibernate. They have to keep their body temperature high and in order to do that, they have to keep their metabolism high throughout the winter even though there's not much food around, so they have to store a lot of nuts. Contrast this to a rodent in the same family, the chipmunk. Their metabolism dropped to very, very low levels, 1% of what it would be uh, for, for a squirrel. They're in the same uh, family of, of, of rodents, and for some reason, during the evolution of that family, the gray squirrels decided, ah, I don't need it anymore. One of the interesting hibernation methods for chipmunks is called torpor, where these animals hibernate on and off throughout the winter for shorter periods of time. For uh, 10 days or so, and then they'll arouse from that for a day and then go back down into it. We don't know why. When it comes to bears, well, there's a camp of people who say they do hibernate and a camp who claim they don't. Every winter, they will reduce their metabolism a heck of a lot but they're so big that their body temperature doesn't fall much below 30 degrees. So I uh, think that they hibernate because their metabolism goes down a lot. Other people would say, well, the body temperature doesn't go down very much. One thing we can all agree on is the toughness of this species that is cold-blooded when it comes to hibernation. Meet the wood frog. They can freeze so that 70% of their body water is solid ice. You would think that that would kill them, but no. Come the springtime, they will thaw out. And of course, they've been frozen for, you know, up to four months, depending on where they are. They haven't eaten in that time. They haven't really breathed in that time. Their heart hasn't pumped. And the first thing that they think about doing when they, when they thaw out is mate. And then they think about finding food. So these frogs have their priorities. Well, it seems the toughest hibernators can be the smallest of species. Did any of these hibernation facts surprise you?